Hi, I'm Pat Sloan, and this is my Glow Sew Along. Here is the first block. We're going to be doing the entire first row this week, and I wanted to give you a few tips about how it's going to run and what you'll see each week. Pretty much, it's the same block over and over. So today, I have a photo tutorial on my website that shows you step-by-step -step, sort of the making of this block, which is in row one. And then I have a few other things I want to tell you here that you can do to benefit yourself. So first of all, I highly recommend that you take the pattern and it's got all the cutting directions and everything, but let's just do one. If I, I, if I were you, <laughs> this is how I like to work, is I would do just one block so that you get used to everything that is going on with the cutting directions. So you understand them and you're sure you know and you're sure you cut them right because I don't know if you've ever tried to cut a whole bunch of stuff and then found out maybe you misread one of the one of the sizes and so you cut them all wrong. I always find like if I just do one block, I get used to what the patterns, uh, components are, how it's gonna go together and then you can do a bunch of cutting. So this week, if you would make one block uh, and then Go ahead and if you want to, you could cut a bunch of the backgrounds. So that's like what I did. Whoops, all my letters just slid down. This is what I did. I put them on the, the board. And this way I have sort of a bunch of the a bunch of the backgrounds cut. Then I will sew, you know, one at a time. Of course, I've made the whole quilt. So for the sew along, I'm going to do one block a week and show you. And then I'll have another sort of four block uh, baby quilt or table runner out of my Bonnie Lane fabric. You're also going to find that when you do the sew and flips, you will end up with some very tiny uh, surplus half square triangles. And what I'm doing is using these to sew start and finish when I'm doing chain piecing. So I will run these through. I just keep the whole stack, I keep like a whole stack of them up on top of the sewing machine and then I can just feed them before and at the end when I'm doing the chain piecing. And that way I just find that my patchwork runs a lot smoother. And then I'm going to trim all these down in either lesson two or three and I will show you this, do like, like a little mug rug. I think that would be super cute. You could also make little tiny stars and make like a mug rug with a little tiny star. So I'll do something with those. There is a method where people will like to sew those at the same time they're doing the patchwork, but I personally find that ineffective because I'm taking time to do this other process when I'm not moving forward on my main project. Whereas when I just trim them off and use them as, as start and finishes, then they are um, helping me. And I, if for some reason I don't want to use it, that's great, but it's always a, a fun thing to have. So this is week one for Bonnie Lane. I'm putting this out on Tuesday because I am going to be out of town on Thursday. Afterwards, it'll always be on Thursdays, except for possibly next week when I get back, which it might be on Friday. Sorry about that, but it'll be during the week. So it'll be <laughs> Thursday or Friday next week. But since I don't get home till, you know, it'll probably be Friday next week. Uh, but today for Tuesday, that way I'm here tomorrow. So if you have questions, I can answer them more easily than when I'm on the road. And I will be able to see what's going on, be able to help you out. So I'm pretty excited. They are just so, so gorgeous. And I love that you are sewing along with me. And if you haven't started yet, you can go out to pick up the pattern. And if you want the kit, there's also quits. And so you can do it just like mine with my Bonnie Lane. Thanks everybody, love you. Chat with you online.